Hello everyone, this is Mr. Fahm and this will be my video series for my chemistry classes for the next three weeks, maybe longer. First of all, I hope all of you are doing okay, that you are coping with this new situation. This is uh, definitely weird for all of us and having you watch videos of me is going to be weirder. Uh, but if you ever have any questions, if you have questions about the content, if you need help with any of the assignments, if you need help obtaining resources, then feel free to give me a call. You can contact me through my email, uh, Facebook. You can um, even request, I believe, or request a meeting through Google Hangouts or uh, through Zoom. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be mixing up my content uh, for today. It's a little brief video introduction with the notes that I'm going to cover with you. Um, I will do my notes through PowerPoints. I will uh, talk in my videos and um, whatever I say is something that is, you know, could be useful in learning because that's, really what we're trying to achieve is learning. So hopefully you will learn all kinds of stuff throughout my video series. It's going to be at least 15 videos, maybe longer. I don't know. But I will also be using a whiteboard program on my tablet as well. I am currently using Zoom to record this. Uh, if you ever need to contact me, I have my Zoom information. All my videos will be posted on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Google Drive, uh, and my Google uh, Classrooms. I think I already said that. But I'm going to put them everywhere. You will not be able to get away from my videos. They will be there. Uh, but hopefully this learning experience uh, will be entertaining to you. I don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to screw up a lot of times. This is definitely not something I'm used to doing especially because I want to do everything perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and start the lesson today. And I'm going to start by um, showing you a picture. So I'm going to share my screen. And now you should be able to see me in the corner and uh, the title of today's notes, which is Waves. We're uh, still in the physics portion of chemistry. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any chemical reaction type stuff in the foreseeable future. Uh, for some of my chemistry students that are in physics, you pretty much know all this. This is actually a simplified version of what you learned in physics. But for the majority of you, you have not taken physics, so all of this will be new information. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with this picture. So what I have are four different pictures and you should be able to see my mouse pointer. So when you look at all these pictures, what do you see? What are the characteristics of these pictures? Yeah, I see people. That's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is uh, based upon the, uh, the title of our presentation, you know, what do you see? What are the characteristics of these pictures? I'll give you a moment to think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hear me humming. All right, so here's what I see when I look at these pictures. I see movement. Sometimes the movement is fast and, oh, little boy. I see this movement here. I see this is actually a very, 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 very large amount of people in, <laughs> in China at a wave pool, and it is packed full of people. And then over here, this is a graduation. Hopefully you seniors will be able to graduate, but uh, I see movement here. So in all four pictures, I see the characteristic of movement. But that movement actually, and this one, a little bit different. I put that picture in there because it's funny. But it, you know, it is a wave that has come in. But when I look at the movement, 
I see that the movement is uh, the same. It's repetitive. It, I can see a direction to that movement. Even with Steve Buscemi here, if you don't know what that's from, that's from um, uh, not it's an Adam Sandler movie, uh, crap, Billy Madison. Anyway, he's uh, repeating the same motion over and over again. And when you look at the people here, you can see that it's also the same motion over and over again. And it doesn't wind up to the stage. Oh, well. But what you are looking at are waves. Now, you've probably heard of a wave. You, you know, typically when you hear the word wave, you think of like ocean waves or the actual waving motion here. I got to put my hand close because if not, it disappears. I'm, I have no hand. Oh my gosh. See there, wave. So when you see waves, you think of probably th those two things. But a wave in physics is actually more than just that. A wave in physics is a disturbance that travels through a medium, transporting energy from one location to another without transporting matter. So uh, got to break that down first. A wave is a disturbance. So think of like, any kind of disturbance. You're working all of a sudden, my kid comes in and she starts talking to me and she throws me off my, my video game right now. Uh, when I say video game, I mean my game of making videos because I'm going to be awesome at this. Uh, she disturbed me. She did something that caused a change in my state. Or uh, I see a, a, a video, a movie, and one of the scenes disturbs me. Well, that means that I have this, this typical state of mind or emotion, and then when I see that disturbing thing, it changes my viewpoint, it changes my feelings, my emotions, and now I'm not the same. Well, any kind of wave is a disturbance where you're going to have something that is at one state, but then the wave changes the state of that thing. So a wave is some kind of disturbance. But a wave, and what we're going to be looking at, uh, like electromagnetic radiation, um, waves have to travel. All waves move, whether you're doing this, whether you see the ocean wave, uh, or you see the, the people standing up and down when the wave, the stadium wave goes through, uh, you see that that wave is traveling through a medium, which I'll explain in a second. But that disturbance, like when someone comes in, my daughter comes in and she uh, disturbs me, well, it took energy for her to do that. If you look at the people doing the stadium wave going up, well, it takes energy to move up then back down. And there's uh, other types of waves I can just really show you the energy in that. But any kind of disturbance requires energy. And when a wave travels, it is essentially energy that is traveling through what we call a medium. But it has to go from one location to another. Typically, waves start one place then they move towards another place. So we could say like it moves forwards. But when that wave moves through, it's gonna move through something. Uh, it, but it's not going to take the thing it's moving through. It's not gonna take it with it. So uh, that thing that the wave is traveling through is what we call the medium. The medium is some type of substance, some type of material, or even space itself that the wave can move through. So I'm going to do a little wave here with my hand, and my hand right now is moving through space. It's moving through air, first of all, but it's also moving through that concept of space. Any wave that is moving has to travel through something. And that something is called the medium. It can be a substance like air. It could be water. It could be a material. For example, waves can travel through walls. Waves can travel through glass. Or it could even just be space itself. So if you get off of the Earth and get away from Earth's atmosphere, which you know extends 
away from the Earth's surface. And then you go into space, or what we call the vacuum of space. Well, there's no matter there. You know, space, the things between planets, this, what we call space, is empty. There is no matter whatsoever. So when electromagnetic radiation, like light, travels through that space, there is no type of substance there for the wave to travel through. So that 